And we are once again with Bobby Doobie. He's the public information officer for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission here in the Florida Keys. Bobby, we've got the regular lobster season starting up on Friday. What are the top three things that people that come to the Keys need to know? Well, once again, just like the two-day sports season, safety is the number one priority, uh, not just here in the Keys, but throughout Florida. So observe the dive flag uh, laws and regulations uh, especially when you're going to be into water diving, make sure you have your dive flag properly displayed. Make sure it's large enough. Make sure when you're done diving or snorkeling, you take the dive flag uh, down or stow it. Uh, secondly, make sure you have the proper boating safety gear. All that stuff can be taken care of before you leave the dock. You know, check the weather before you leave. You know, file a float plan. Let somebody know where you're going. If you are going to be scuba diving, uh, you know, take a refresher course. Make sure you dive with a buddy. Uh, those things could uh, make sure you have a safe, enjoyable time uh, here lobstering. You, you never want to anchor on the reef or near the reef. You always want to look for a white sandy bottom. Uh, if you are going to be out in certain areas, as long as you're outside the spas uh, lobstering, uh, you know, uh, make sure you anchor in a, in a sandy bottom. If you are going to be, you know, uh, just recreating, you know, try to use one of the, the mooring balls out in our uh, certain areas of the uh, special preservation areas. If you're going to be over 16 years old, you need to have a saltwater fishing license and a crawfish or lobster endorsement or stamp. Have that with you and then you can get six lobsters per person per day. But now uh, starting Friday with August 6th, it goes back to six lobsters per person per day for the rest of the remainder of the year. And is that for the entire state? Yes, entire state, uh, which ends, the lobster season ends March 31st. Okay, not just in the Florida Keys, but South Florida, uh, the carapace or the head has to be greater than three inches. Again, that's greater than three inches. All right, now if you're gonna be in the water uh, partaking in lobster harvesting, you need to have a lobster gauge or measuring device. Uh, when you do catch a lobster, like I like to tell people, is quickly flip it over, make sure it's not an egg-bearing female. Uh, there's still a few out there. Uh, if you just roll the lobster over, the underbelly of the tail will look like red or orange caviar. Uh, even though it's legal size, that lobster has to be immediately released because that's millions of uh, eggs that that lobster has and potential lobster for the future. Uh, this is a, a lobster carapace. Uh, so we're gonna go in between the horns. I like to slide it down and you don't wanna measure the eye membrane there. So if the, the gauge falls off the back of the lobster carapace, this would be an undersized lobster. As you can see, this lobster would be of legal size and a keeper. Once you uh, measure lobster, uh, and it has, again, it has to be measured before you put in your dive bag, your catch bag, your BC, your shorts, pockets, or the boat. It needs to be measured before it goes uh, in any of those. Uh, and make sure uh, you don't spear it or separate the, the head from the tail or ring the tails. Uh, that would be a violation also. And I know there's a lot of different kind of snares out there uh, on the market. So make sure if you do use a snare, you don't cinch it so tight where you actually uh, cut the lobster in two or separate it. Keyslobsterseason.com and make yourself familiar with all the laws and regulations uh, here in the Florida Keys so you have a safe and enjoyable time.